is good YouTube and welcome back to a brand new video and today we're going to be doing a Russell Westbrook Timberwolves rebuild. This is going to be the last Russell Westbrook video I do, I promise, uh, unless he gets traded to some random team, but I just kind of wanted to wrap this up. I wasn't ready to start the new look rebuilds just yet and uh, before we start with this video, make sure to leave a like if you do enjoy it and subscribe if you haven't already. We're trying to reach 5k before the end of July. Once we reach 5k, we're doing a giveaway, but other than that, this is the trade I have in front of me. So I kind of got this trade off the web, off of some article. So if you guys don't like it, I mean, sorry. I, I'm sorry if you don't like it. Uh, it's just uh, Wiggins. I don't know why the Thunder would want Andrew Wiggins, but if the Thunder, if the Timberwolves are going to get Russell Westbrook, it's highly unlikely they will, but I just kind of wanted to do this video for the entertainment value. And uh, then Josh Kogan, the trade as well, a first rounder and a second rounder for Russell Westbrook. I mean... Lately, you guys have been telling me I've been overpaying in these videos, and now this is probably an underpay, and I'm sure I'm going to get a bunch of comments about it. So, uh, this is going to be the trade we're going to force through, and then I'm going to turn trade override off. Obviously, uh, I don't know if you guys can hear that plane in the background, but it is very loud. And it is like 1210. You know, planes do, planes do fly late at night, so I don't know why I'm complaining. Now, first thing I noticed when I have this roster is Jared Culver spelled with a K. I'm not sure why, so um, yeah, I, I mean, I'll probably fix that because that's going to bother me, but... Uh, this is going to be kind of the team that it looks like. So we just traded Andrew Wiggins. And now we can go ahead and look at this team and see what a rotation would look like with Russell Westbrook. Uh, we have J Russell Westbrook, Jarrett Culver, Covington, Jordan Bell staring at that power forward spot. Carl D. Towns, Gorgie Dang, Jake Lehman, Noah Vonley, and Keita bates D up. So we have a lot of players that we don't need. Okay, so let's go with a nine-man rotation. Uh, Robert Covington, Jordan Bell. So the starting five is fine. We can probably move uh, Kita Bates, Diop, uh, Jake Lehman. Let's move Gorgie Dang to the backup center. That way uh, he doesn't, you know, take that many uh, power forward minutes. Because we have Vonley. Did the Wolves really sign Vonley in real life? I had no idea that they did that. Unless this uh, roster just filled him in for whatever reason. Uh, Kita Bates, Diop, he goes down. Uh, shooting guard, so I guess I'll leave him at small forward. Does he go up? Nope. Okay, so uh, for this first season, I like I usually do, I'm just going to leave the team the same. And I just kind of want to see if this team would make the playoffs with Russell Westbrook. You know, no changes made. So, Russell Westbrook and Carl Anthony Towns. Let's kind of, let's just see what this duo would do together. Uh, three and a half rating at balance. So, we're probably going to go with, uh, wait, did it go to four star with pace and space? It's three and a half pace and space. So, we're going to leave it at pace and space. Let's see much to the end of the season. And let's see how Russell Westbrook Timberwolves team would do. So at the end of the first season, Russell Westbrook is your most valuable player. Very awesome. I think he won MVP in the Detroit Pistons video as well. John Morant is your rookie of the year. Spencer Dinwiddie is your sixth man of the year. Giannis is your defensive player. Most improved goes to Josh Richardson. Very nice. And here's your NBA first team. But we are facing the Denver Nuggets in the first round. We went 49 and 33 and are still the seventh seed. Honestly, guys, that might, how, might be how it is in real life because this Western Conference is definitely stacked top to bottom. But we had 29 points. From Russell Westbrook Towns had a 16 point season uh, point per game season I should say that is actually very horrible for a guy like Carlton Towns I need to change this because I do not think Jared Culver spelled with a K and no I did not make it that way so please don't roast me in the comments because dude I did not make it like that and uh, I don't know why this roster is like that but you know it is what it is but face the Denver Nuggets in the first round let's see what happens so I think after this Russell Westbrook video I think I'll start the new look series I think I'll start it uh, I'm not sure what team I'm going to start with yet, but uh, we might actually bounce the Nuggets in the first round. And we went in six games, and now we're facing the Super Team Clippers. So, yeah, Paul George and Kawhi Leonard, that's not going to be fun to run into. They're up 1-0. Uh, we evened it up with them. Can we go up? Okay, 2-1. Can we eliminate Paul George and Kawhi Leonard? Can we actually do it? 3-2. Do not do it, 2K. We went in six games. We are in the Western Conference Finals. So, this is the farthest I've gotten out of all the Westbrook videos I've done so far. And this is the very first season I've made no changes. So, if we can make it to the NBA Finals, that would be absolutely insane. Uh, we're up 1-0 on Houston. They even it up with us. 2-1 for them. 3-1, and it looks like we might get bounced out here. So, I mean, we made it to the Western Conference Finals in this video. So, that's something I can brag about a little bit, you know, because that's, you know, a W in itself. And it uh, looks like we are going to get bounced out here. So, like I said, make it to the Western Conference Finals. Can't complain too much about that. Uh, definitely a W. Uh, we you know we might have made it actually in the. No, we didn't. We, never mind. Never mind. We never made it to the Western Conference Finals doing a Westbrook video so far. So league meetings and uh, well, let's get rid of those. Draft lottery. Let's just go jump right to this. So I don't think we have our pick. I'm not sure what team has it. It looks like the Celtics have it. 
for whatever reason and then ryan saunders i'm going to just uh no let me fire my trainer uh ryan saunders i really do kind of want to fire him uh, i mean roy williams is here at a five a a's across the board i mean i i think i gotta do it man i gotta maximize potential to get this team running so i'm gonna go ahead and sign that head coach and i'm gonna sign him our assistant coach isn't very good either so uh okay and he's here as well with a and b rating so go ahead and sign him so our coaches are looking pretty good and now for the nba draft well obviously we don't have a pick so not much we can do there skip over the draft and uh rookie signing like i said we don't have anybody to sign so he had based the up and jalen no wow we'll go ahead and bring them back of course qualifying offers none so no uh it looks like no serious free agents this season well let's see uh negative 16 million dollars could we free up any money uh cameron reynolds is getting so okay so probably not gonna be able to azrion reed uh, i'm gonna renounce uh, all those guys and then uh now we look at a roster so i mean i guess the only way we are going to be doing much of anything is probably through trade so Culver is good at the shooting guard. Jake Lehman is good as a backup, and I like Covington, of course. You guys all know that. And I don't mind Gorgie. I don't mind Jordan Bell being my starting power forward because it seemed to work all right, but, you know, I wouldn't mind an upgrade, of course. So Gorgie Dang is definitely uh, looking like a trade piece right now. I mean, I don't really think anyone else is tradable at this point. I mean, I could trade Covington, I guess. But Gorgie Dang, let's go and attach you with, like, maybe Keita Bates-Diop. And let's see if that can get us. We can get a backup center, Ante Tigers, and a second round pick. Patrick Beverly and Russell Westbrook in the backcourt would be, actually be pretty low key nice. Bruno Fernando, Rashawn Holmes, and Trevor Ariza. They're one, uh, Ricky Rubio, Ante Tigers. So I kind of like the idea of getting Patrick Beverly. Uh, he's making $13 million a year. That's going to free up us, free us up a little bit of money. A little bit of money. Uh, so you know what? I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this trade. Get Patrick Beverly. I'm going to move him to the uh, shooting guard position. So he'll either play the backup shooting guard or he'll start. I don't care either way. So Russell Westbrook and Beverly would be nasty in the backcourt as far as defensive purposes. So I'm definitely looking for a better power forward in my opinion. Let's see if we can afford one, hopefully. Um, affordable power forwards. Nikola Miritich would just be absolutely perfect in my opinion, but I don't think we can. I don't, obviously, I don't think he's going to be coming back to the NBA for a while. He went overseas to go play for uh, some team in Spain, unfortunately. Marvin Williams, Noah Vonley, PJ Tucker would have been nice. Vladovich, Markeith Morris. Um, do we go with Tyus? I kind of like to we just get Daniel Tyus as somebody. Not, not somebody I get very often. He's a terrible perimeter defender. Jeff Green, Davis Bertans is not very good either himself. Vonley, Michael Kidd Gilchrist is good, but of course we all know he has one of the worst shooting forms in the NBA. PJ Tucker, uh, you know, I actually wouldn't mind him at all. But uh, I definitely don't want to give him that much money. So I'll give him like a one-year deal. It probably is going to go down cra like crazy in overall. So he's just kind of a backup plan. Daniel Tyus, I guess, you know, would be all right. Um, or is there a center position or center that I could maybe move to the power forward spot that would work out well? Let me see. Uh, Mason Plumley, Fareed, Willie, Selena Gomez, John Henson has a three rate. Three. I didn't know he had a, a three-point shot. Myers Leonard, terrible perimeter defender as well. So I mean, I'm probably not gonna find a very good perimeter. Taco Fall, dude. Taco Fall. He wants 6.60 million dollars a year, dude. I'm so tempted to just get Taco Fall just because it's funny. You know what, guys? We're getting Taco Fall. We're just gonna get Taco Fall. I mean, why not? So PJ Tucker and Taco Fall. If we can sign both those guys. I'd be cool with that. So, uh, okay, and we don't have enough room to sign PJ Tucker, which is fine because we got Taco Fall, right? So Myers Leonard, I'm gonna go ahead and sign him as well for depth uh, if we could get him, and we'll get Myers Leonard. So Paul Millsap can't afford him, and then now I look at the rotation. Uh, I was thinking about moving Towns to the power forward and starting Taco Fall, but I think that's just a little too uh, much. I'm gonna probably move Myers Leonard to the power forward, I guess, and uh, he'll play the power forward spot. So Russell Westbrook, so one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So yeah, we have ourselves a little nine-man rotation. Do I start? Do I even think about moving Towns to the power forward and starting Taco Fall? I, I mean, I just think that'd be cheese, dude. I just don't know. I don't know if that's uh, I don't know, man. I don't like the idea of that. So I don't think I'm gonna do that. Uh, but definitely, you know, this team got a little bit better, not too much. Taco Fall is definitely gonna take us to the promised land. We got PG, uh, Patrick Beverly in a trade, so I'm hoping that helps us out a little bit. Not we didn't do too much because I mean we just made it to the Western Conference Finals, so I didn't really want to change 
all that much. So I'm hoping that, uh, you know, little changes leads us back to the Western Conference Finals, maybe even into the NBA Finals. We'll see. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and load another draft class, of course. And like I said, if if this season doesn't go well, that's when we can make some serious drastic changes, maybe trade guys like Covington. Uh, obviously, Townsend, Russ, Brooke are going to be safe throughout the video. I can't imagine trading either of them. Ta or Taco Fall is definitely safe now. So, yeah, I, I mean, I'm liking this team a lot. I think it looks pretty good. Jared Culver, do I even, like, think about trading him? I, I mean, obviously, I don't really want to do that, and I don't think I would. But, you know, it is a just a thought, just in case I wanted to go all out and get somebody to pair up with Westbrook and Towns. Myers Leonard or Jordan Bell, Jake Lane. I'm going to give Taco Fall some untapped potential. Let's go ahead and give uh, Myers Leonard some untapped potential, I guess, too. Let's see. They, it looks like they still want to start Jordan Bell. So let's go ahead and look at the rotation as it is right now. And it's looking somewhat like this. So we have Westbrook, Jared Culver, Robert Covington, Jordan Bell, Towns, Beverly, Myers Leonard, Jake Lehman, and Taco Fall. We don't definitely don't need 11 players getting uh, minutes. We just I, I hate how these randomly generated computers are always set to give 11, 11 man rotations. It just doesn't make any sense. Beverly is going to be nice off the bench for us. Taco Fall um, is getting around 16 minutes a game, which is all right. And then now we look at our system proficiency. Three and a half rating at pace and space. I'll go ahead and leave it there because it don't look like I go up anywhere else. So I'm going to simulate this second season and let's see if we can uh, maybe win more than 49 games. But at the end of this second season, we went 40 and 42, did not make the playoffs. So obviously some changes are to be made. So definitely going to be doing that. We're going to be trying to win a championship within, within the next two seasons. So we're going to be making some serious changes to this team. Now, everybody is on the trade block besides Conthony Towns. Uh, probably Culver. I can see myself trading Culver as well, though, if the price is right. So I'm going to try to keep Culver, but everybody's on the trade block besides Towns and Russell Westbrook and maybe even Culver. So we'll keep that in mind. Uh, the pick I traded to the Thunder was top something protected. I can't remember what it was. It looks like the Thunder got it. So definitely wasn't lottery protected. Uh, I'm going to keep our staff the same because uh, unless there's a better... Yeah, there's a better trainer. So let me go ahead and fire and get this better trainer. So sign him and then great go to the draft. We shouldn't have our draft pick. Of course, the Thunder have it. We have a second round pick. So I don't know if the second round pick would help us any. But like I said, free agency isn't going to be too kind to us. Taco Fall, I'm going to try to keep him as well just because uh, I'm sure everybody would like him to stay in the video. But uh, Covington and Beverly are looking like the two trade candidates right now. So let's go ahead and see what we can get. So there's one player I do have in mind. I get him quite a bit. But you know what, guys? He always makes my team successful. And I might go get him again. So um, we have Towns. Towns. What else could we get? Blake Griffin. But I think this guy would just like help out Towns a lot. And that's because his defense is a lot better than Towns. Pascal Siakam. The old Pascal. Well, you know, all reliable. That's what I like to call him at this point. Uh, let's see if we just trade Beverly. So we need $10 more million million included in this trade. Uh, we could include Jordan Bell might just do that uh and we need five more million dollars in this trade so let's see what could we you know could we uh include jake layman we could probably include jake layman nope uh okay 805k then allowed all right so uh let's go ahead and see okay yeah, yeah we're gonna have to trade covington in this trade so let's go ahead and oh not towns uh covington's gonna have to be included in the trade so beverly and covington for pascal siakam uh obviously that's not gonna get it done can we throw in a uh, future first and get it done? No, how about another one? And we should be able to get it done. Then we get Pascal Siakam. I know. Maybe I overpaid for him, but guys, I'm trying to win a championship in this last season for you guys. So, yeah, that's what's going to happen. So, we got Pascal Siakam right before the draft. Now I can skip over it and, you know, figure out the money situation. Player options, Jared Culver and Matthias. Uh, keep him. And then let's go straight to free agency. And let's see what kind of players we can afford. I'm hoping we could afford Tory Craig wouldn't be a bad addition. So I wouldn't mind Tory Craig back. He's 30, already 30 years old. Oh my god. I mean, I felt like we just met the guy. Um, all positions affordable. Oh wait. Point guards, Mike James, Alfred Payton, Austin Rivers, Avery Bradley. You know, there are some players we could get out here that are gonna, you know, make the lineup nicely, but Westbrook is good, of course, at the point guard. Culver, like I said, I don't mind him. I kind of like him and I want to keep him there. Jake Lehman is our starting small forward for right now. That's not terrible. Pascal Siakam and Jordan Bell, I can live with that. And then Towns and Taco Fall. So the front court's set. Uh, everybody else, I mean, like I said, I don't mind starting Lehman. He actually might have to be the starter. And then we just need some backups, basically. So um, 
because I don't know what else we could trade. Vic Lehman and uh, another first for somebody else. I mean, I don't know what else that we could do as far as, you know, upgrading the small forward spot. Marcus Morris Sr., if we move him to small forward, I know for a fact he goes up. And I think he left the Spurs and went to the Knicks, which honestly doesn't make a whole lot of sense in my opinion. But um, if we could get uh, Marcus Morris Sr. without, or we can get Turin Prince. If we can get Turin Prince without, or Chandler Hudson, if we can, get, if we can upgrade without trading... Do I want Marks Moore Sr. or do I want Terrain Prince? Um, Marks Moore Sr. I kind of like the idea of Marks Moore Sr. But I'm going to try not to trade a first for him. Let me try to trade two like seconds maybe. Okay, they want four seconds. Okay, we're doing it. So we're getting Marks Moore Sr. So that's just going to even more upgrade our small forward spot. So uh, I thought he would go up, but he does not. So Marks Moore Sr. is going to be the starting small forward now. So like I said, now we just need some backup. So let's go out there and get some backups. Let's just get some backup, a backup. Alfred Payne, Austin Rivers would do. So I'll go ahead and give Austin Rivers a contract because he, we all know he's a, you know, he's a quality backup. Uh, he was a meme kind of guy in the Clippers days, but he's pretty good now. Avery Bradley wouldn't be bad either. Dion Waiters, Kent Bazemore, Danny Green, Connington, Alan Crabb. Uh, I'm gonna get Pat Connington, I think, because he's a good shooter. So Austin Rivers and Connington, let's go ahead and sign those two. And uh, I think that'll be good. So that's okay. We don't have enough room to sign Pat Connington. So let's go ahead and go back to the shooting guard spot. Alan Crabb or Reggie Bullock. I mean, either one of them would do. So I'll go ahead and just give Alan Crabb a contract or I'll give Reggie Bullock or can get both. I don't care. So let's see. Um, I guess we'll just sign both. Why not? And then I'll move probably maybe move one of them small forward. I don't know. We'll see. Or just let's see which one of them they want to play in the rotation. So Westbrook does go down one. Uh, Mark Smart Sr. goes down quite a bit, so maybe we shouldn't have traded uh, Layman for Mark Smart Sr. I don't know. Maybe we shouldn't have. Uh, I guess we'll find out. And, I mean, if Mark Smart Sr. does start to slip up, Aaron Wiggins is on the Timberwolves. Okay, any, like I was saying, is Aaron Mark Smart Sr. starts to slip up, then we can obviously just, you know, ship him out of here, I guess, uh, if need be. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, probably, I mean, just in case we do do another season after this, I'll go ahead and load and download another draft class, but I'm hoping that we can just uh, churn through this, not have to do another season, and win this championship this very last season. So let's go ahead and look at the rotation together. Taco Fall is looking like he's going to be the sixth man. Absolutely okay with that. Culver with a K. Uh, you know, I said I was going to change that, and I never did. You know, that's just a... Uh, sorry. I, I don't know, man. I, I said I was going to change it, and I just, like, literally never changed it at all. So on to have potential. Let's go ahead and give this other one taco fall get him up there a little bit more and then let's go give this last one to um culver i guess get him up to an a so now we look at this nine man rotation oh hell no dude you see who they just put in the starting five absolutely not evan turner get out of here i'm not starting evan turner you got me all kinds of messed up 2k why and why on okay why would i do this why would i start evan turner why would I start this man, dude? I'm not doing that. So, um, let's, I would rather even start out. Okay, hold on. Let me fix. Hold on. I don't even know why they even just tried to start Evan Turner on my roster. That was not happening. Culver. Uh, could we move Culver to small forward? No. I mean, we could. He's six, seven. And then we could maybe start Alan Crabber, or Reggie Bullock. I mean, one of them would probably do. So that way they don't start Evan Turner. Cause that's really annoying. So Alan Crabb, I mean, would space the floor play defense i mean that's not you know horrible on jordan bell and then uh what's his face marcus Morris senior comes off the bench now which i think you know he is better at anyway in boston so yeah i mean I'm, i'll run with that per efficiency pace and space three and a half uh if we go to seven seconds it goes up so you know what guys i'm going to change my staff's preference so much the end of the season and let's see if we can win a championship at the end of the season we did make the playoffs this time 46 and 36 so we bounced back made it back in the playoffs uh fourth seed in the western conference facing the zion williamson pelican so it's not looking too good for us right now because we all know mr zion is overpowered but 24 points i am honestly disappointed in how well uh, or how bad Conti towns has been in this video um yeah some of you guys might comment you have to mess with his tendencies but i think it might just be westbrook you know stealing the ball from mr carl Anthony towns so yeah, I mean, I don't know. Mark Smart Sr. and Levin off the bench. So let's just go ahead and see how this, uh, you know, these playoffs go. We're up 1-0 on uh, New Orleans. Okay, they even it up with us. 2-1 for us. Can we go up 3-1? 2-2? Can we go up 3-2? We do. 1-6? 1-6? Okay, we do. Okay, now we're facing the different Nuggets. Actually, we did beat the very first season. So let's see if we can do it again. 
Um, okay, they're up 1-0. Probably can't do it this time. Okay, no. Even it up with them. 2-1 for them. Can we even it up, though? Can we even it up? That's what I want to do. I don't want to go down 2-1. I really don't. So let Or 3-1, I should say. Not playing, because that would take this seat. I would make this video, like, an hour long. So I'm not going to do that. Um, let's go ahead and now go back to this. Not play the game. And uh, if we can even it up this series here, that would be, you know, very good going forward. So, okay, we do even it up. Let's go win on their home floor. Let's go win. And let's go steal a game on their home floor. And we might run into the Houston Rockets again, which would be kind of unfortunate. But if we could steal a game on their home floor, um, that would look very good for us going forward. And it looks like we can. So we do. So let's finish. Okay, we only had 14 points, but from like a bunch of players. So Taco Fall even coming in, you know, getting 12 points, 8 rebounds, 2 blocks. Nice. Can we go ahead and finish the series here, guys? Can we finish the series and make it to the Western Conference Finals? Let's do it, guys. I mean, let's freaking do this. All right, so let's go ahead and beat the Nuggets. There we go. All right, so now if we can just finish the Nuggets here at home, McDonald's chicken nuggets, dip them in ketchup, spit them out, and oh my gosh. All right, I don't even, I don't even know what I was just saying, but 25, 17. All right, so um, let's go ahead. I don't even know what I just said. I said something about spitting. Okay, anyway. Let's see if we're going to win this game on their home floor now. Um, okay, it's not looking good. We're going to get blown out, dude. Oh, my God. All right, so 77-109. We made it to the second round. Almost made it to the Western Conference Finals. What am I doing with the controller right now? Um, you know what, guys? Uh, you know, I thought about doing another season, but I think I might just end it here. Uh, I think I will because Minnesota is most likely not going to get Russell Westbrook. I just don't think it's going to happen. They're probably the least likely team to get him. Uh, the Rockets win the championship. We made it to the Western Conference Finals in the video already, and we were so close to making it again. So I'm going to end it here. And then tomorrow, we're going to start our new look rebuild series where I'm going to win a championship with every team. That's my goal. We're going to win a championship with every freaking team. Just kidding. We'll see. I don't know. But thank you, guys. This is Crushables, and I'm saying peace.